everybody. This is Roger Hansen with Gardening 2018. Um, today I am going to be discussing Mary Washington, Mary Washington asparag asparagus seeds. Now we uh, got the seeds during the winter or just before winter in the fall actually, it was late fall, and we decided that we were going to grow them um, during the fall and put them in a greenhouse and let them grow over the winter time so uh, it, it's in the fall time that this crop actually uh, started growing. But before I start showing you videos about it, I'm going to do like I did with all the other videos. I'm going to um, read some of the stuff that um, is recommended for growing um, Mary Washington, or just asparagus seeds basically. It's not, it's not Mary Washington, but here we go. Asparagus officinalis is a hardy perennial suited to the U to USDA zones two through eight and is native to Western Europe. This perennial can remain viable for ten to twenty years, so choose your garden site very careful. Asparagus needs a soil pH of between 7.0 and 7.2 in fertile, well-drained soil. So, how do you grow, or so how do you go about planting asparagus seeds? There's no trick to growing asparagus from seeds. Just be patient. It's recommended that you start asparagus seeds indoor or in a greenhouse in mid-February to May under bright lighting. Soil temperatures for seed germination should be between 70 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 21 to 29 degrees Celsius. Soak the seeds for a couple of hours, then plant each seed a half inch deep in sterile soil in individual two inch pots. They should sprout anywhere between two and eight weeks from planting asparagus seeds. <clears throat> Seeding, seedings are ready to transplant when they are 10 to 12 weeks old and all danger of frost in the area has passed. Space the transplants 18 inches apart in rows set 3 to 6 inches apart. If you want thinner spears, space the transplants 8 to 10 inches apart <coughs> with the plant set 4 inches deep. If you like thicker spears, plant them 12 to 14 inches apart and set 6 to 8 inches deep. Consider planting your new asparagus babies near your tomatoes. Asparagus repels nem nematodes that attack tomato plants, while tomatoes repair, repel asparagus be beetles. A very sym symbiotic relationship indeed. As the plant grows, cover the crown of the soil and keep it moist. One inch of water per week. Fertilize, the s fertilize in the spring with one to two cups of complete organic fertilizer per 10 feet of row and dig in, and dig in gently. Remember, don't harvest the plant until its third year. Allow the plant to set ferns and redirect its energy back into the plant. Cut the ferns down to two inches tall in late fall. In part, third, no, in, in the plant's third year, you can begin regularly harvesting the spears. The season usually lasts around 8 to 12 weeks. Cut the asparagus spears one 
to two inches below the ground and at least two inches above the crown using a sharp knife or asparagus harvesting tool and there's a, another part that's a, above that which I should also mention about asparagus um, it takes a long process before you can actually eat any of the asparagus uh, if you grow it from seeds it's going to take three years before you can actually harvest the asparagus and use it as food so you do have to be patient it's a three year crop but like it said um, when you gr when you grow these asparagus you've got 10 to 15 years of crops that, or 10 years of crops at least that can come in I've heard people say that they've stayed alive for 15 years but that's just hearsay um, so that's something to think about I've also heard that uh, for one person it's best to grow three plants for each person in your household so say you have um, a family of four you'd want to grow 12 asparagus to uh, accommodate each person within your household that's also something that I've heard but I mean it's worth a try I know that um, my family has okra planted and it kind of grows from what I've seen of the asparagus it, it kind of grows the same so when you grow uh, okra this stuff sprouts up like wildfire so um, I'm thinking that's what's going to end up happening with this asparagus too so I don't know if that's true or not just take that into consideration so when you're growing three of them you're going to get a lot of uh, asparagus so I, for me I have no problem with it I mean the more asparagus the better you know that's all I know <laughs> but with that said you know I'll go ahead and get the video set up for for watching so that you guys can see what we have, have or what progress we've made on it we've still got the asparagus in our greenhouse and it's in the middle of uh, or the beginning of March and I'll get some footage for that um, it's technically something we grew in the fall of 2018 but it's also something that I'm going to also keep tabs on for 2019 it it had a lot of wear and tear during the winter time um, we didn't want to over water it and it it paid it, it paid for it. it they wilted down and everything but I recently went out there and put some water in there in the in the, in, in the containers while it was warm outside we've had a really strange winter but uh, I'll have video of all that and show you the progress on it for 2019 with that said let me start this video and we'll go from there now Robert ended up getting this he got the asparagus um, through the mail it's a hundred seeds and I believe it was this was actually from here in the United States and I wanted to make a picture of the name and the, everything that came in the mail because we have a hard time with people sending seeds in the mail without any information so. and with this I took um, dirt just regular dirt out of the ground and used it and that, those containers right there are made out of coconut hair. I put them in there, and believe it or not, those containers are really, really good. They work really well. I, we had them in uh, our 2017 videos, too. 
and that's the seeds. That's a, one of the nine inch nails that I found in the yard that I said in one of my videos, or I showed in one of my videos. Uh, I basically used that to make the holes in the dirt. All I did was took and put it in there, moved it around like that, and put the seeds down in it. And don't be stingy with it, you know. It's okay to put two or three seeds in each hole. Don't worry about just putting one in each because when, when, when the seed pops out, they're actually real, real small seeds in, in that one that you have in your finger. So it's going to be like an explosion when they grow. And it's okay to put two or three of them in there. So just like with my cantaloupes. These did grow pretty well. I should have actually made more videos in the wintertime. Like I said, it's been a rough winter. This is basically what I did. I went and covered it up. The dirt, I mean, the dirt's not really the best. It's just, you know, dirt from the yard that I've been working on. Side of that, that's a old bottom part to the chip thing that uh, that uh, we used in the, or we actually got chicken from out of the deli. I turn around and I just put them in there, and then I filled that container full of water, and it soaked up to the bottom because it wasn't airtight. And this is what happened. It started sprouting that. There's clover and cloves that were in there and everything. And they just they kept growing. We actually have them where they're hanging over the side and everything too. So hopefully they'll keep going and we can get them transplanted. That's the I tried to save that. That was Robert's uh, coconut. Uh, yeah, it could have been a coconut plant. I finally got some uh, little containers to, for, for the bottoms to where we put water in it. Back in the back I've got lettuce and cabbages and stuff like that. But that was the video that I got for that. I also have video available coming out here in a second or two, or in a little while, where it'll be uh, me putting that miniature greenhouse that you see together, and all the stuff that I put inside there, showed you some of the stuff that was already there, so I've got more videos coming, it's just a matter of me getting in here and recording them and getting them ready. I hope you enjoyed the show or enjoyed the video if you did you know please like subscribe share and make comments I'd love to uh, you know get feedback um, thanks for watching if you have any helpful tips please uh, make them because I definitely need <clears throat> help with a lot of this stuff from doing it just from you know getting out there and doing it and then I go with to the old farmers almanac and things like that on the websites but I don't really trust too much of the advice from youtubers um, a lot of them in my opinion are just wanting to get you to buy a product so if you're watching this video and you you're you're actually working on a garden and you have some helpful tips feel free to give them you know give me some feedback because I definitely need it Again, thanks, and have a good day.